Hey folks, welcome to the Clear Creek Cabin. So today we're going to do a little project that will help me out with my uh, donkey manure buckets. As you've seen in a lot of our other videos, we collect their poops in uh, five-gallon buckets. The reason that we do that instead of in an open wheelbarrow is, is that throughout the day, if you don't empty that wheelbarrow, the flies congregate around the wheelbarrow and you basically are just pretty much have an open invitation to the flies come on in to close to the uh, paddock. So what we use is we use five gallon buckets. We fill them full of poo. We throw the lids on them. We set them aside. Usually once a day or every day and a half at the very most, what I do is I take the buckets, I load them up inside the trailer, uh, inside the front loader of the tractor, and I take them on up to the manure pile. Um, also, one of the things we always do is take the waste hay, put it in here first, throw the poo on top of it. When you dump it up on the other end, the poo goes out first and the waste hay goes on top. That helps to also keep down the flies to a certain degree. We also this year have started to use something called fly predators, which um, you can see up here. And basically, um, we buy those from Amazon. It's a great program. You throw those on top of the poo pile, and that helps reduce the fly larvae, and that cuts down on flies as well. It's worked very, very well for us this year, along with our five-step no-zone, no-fly zone, no fly zone um, um, program that we have. So, and, and I can share that with, with you as well. It's now going to be a six-step program instead of a five because we've added the uh, fly predators. But anyway, so what we're going to do here today is, is that, as you can see on my buckets here, they're getting all covered with dirt on the outside of them. This isn't, you know, manure or anything. This is just from sitting here. It rains and the dirt and everything splashes up on them. So what I want to do is I want to build a little overhang here um, and then kind of enclose this in to stack all of the buckets in here. What I want to do is stack them out empty on one side, put them full on the other side, and then when I come up, I can, I can pretty much load them and they're not going to be all covered with the dirt and everything all over the outside. Also, um, I keep a rake up here and my um, poop scoop rake over here too. And that's getting soaking wet whenever it rains as well. So we want to keep that dry. So um, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to put in a post. We're going to put a little bit of a roof here. And um, we're going to build a little, uh, a little cover for our, uh, poop buckets while my donkeys go crazy. <laughs> They're having a grand old time this morning. They love it when daddy's up around the paddock working. They just love having me around. They get all playful. Bart was extremely loving this morning, and so was Sadie. They really, it's a beautiful day here. Um, it's one of those days where it's going to run probably from about 41 degrees this morning to about 82 this afternoon. So we're going to have a 40-degree a run on, on a day like this. But they're having a grand time. They're feeling their oats this morning.
You helping daddy? Yeah. You helping me? You are your big help. You are your big help, honey. You are your big help. You helping me? All right. You're such a big help. Yeah. So let me show you what we do. Uh, this is a bucket of the waste hay, stuff that falls on the ground, um, you know, and uh, the donkeys won't eat anything that uh, is kind of a waste. You throw that in first, spread it all out. Got some chicken feathers in here and other stuff. And then what we'll typically do is any of the chicken litter which we use the pine chips and the donkey litter with pine chips that is got to get thrown out. Oops. And then we throw in the solids. Uh, and like I said, this is uh, going to work out real, real well for us. Having all these buckets under cover, keep them from getting wet. The empties are back over here again now, so we know they're all empty. Um, these are the two that go back to my chicken coop. And we'll set, take those back in a minute. So now what we can do is we can run this up to the uh, manure pile, and I can give you a quick view of what that looks like and how, as I said before, the hay just falls on top of it after you dump the solids, and it automatically starts to grow grass. So come on along. We'll take a, take a run up, and I'll show you. So as you can see, we finished everything up. Um, we put the roof on and put the uh, siding on. The roof is temporary. Those were some extra pieces that I had uh, left laying around. We're ultimately going to buy the uh, same color that uh, matches the uh, little shed here. But uh, we'll do that when we work on the next project and we need some, some other metal. But anyways, how this works is, is that we have the uh, empty buckets over here on the left-hand side and the full buckets on the right-hand side. So as we fill the buckets, we stack them to the right. Um, I have hung air, our little... Uh, our little fork in here as well. And the great thing about this now is, is that whenever it rains, uh, the buckets aren't gonna get soaking wet on the top. What happens is the water collects on the top of the, uh, the lids and it makes it very, you know, you're, you're constantly getting wet. Um, the water was splashing up and getting dirt all over the side of the outside of the buckets. And that was making a big mess. So now having them enclosed in is gonna make it a lot easier and uh, neater. They'll be nice and dry. Um, you know, and winter's coming, so we have freezing rain here periodically, and I don't want to have frozen lids and water on them and the whole nine yards. So what are you doing, Mr. Bart? You're being a crazy donkey. So that's it. Another little project done here at the cabin, and uh, we appreciate it. You're going to say thank you and say hi to everybody, Mr. Bart? Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Take care, folks. Give us a thumbs up. Thanks for looking in on us, and uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel while you're here. Tell your friends about us. We'd love to have them join the family of friends uh, that have joined us already. And uh, God bless you till the next time we see you. You're scratching your butt. You're scratching your butt on the uh, on the gate. Is that the deal? Huh? You want to go for a little walkie? We'll go for a little walkie. Okay, come on, we'll go for a little walkie. Come on. Oh, we'll go right over this way. 
Come on, right over here. We'll go around the track. Come on. Take care, folks.